Welcome to the session, Measurement of an Earthquake. This is Professor C. G. Konapre, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Valchian Institute of Technology, Solapur. This is the learning outcome for the students. Student will be able to describe the measurements of an earthquake. Now, the measurement of an earthquake is uh, the magnitude. So, magnitude is the first measurement and which is also called as the quantitative measurement of earthquake size. Actually, it is the index of energy which is released during an earthquake, when your earthquake uh, triggers. So, sudden release of energy which uh, forms the ground shaking and that release of energy if it is measured that is counted in terms of magnitude. So, most measurements of earthquake magnitudes are instrumental means what? These are based on some measured characteristic of ground shaking. Now, this is the Richter's local magnitude. You might have heard uh, about the Richter scale. So, always this term is used in a, during the earthquake uh, uh, discussion. It may be in print media or electronic media, Richter scale. So, the inventor of this magnitude scale is Charles Richter. He has used wood understand seismometer to define a magnitude scale uh, for a shallow local earthquakes in southern California and the local magnitude is measured. So that is invented by Richter's, Charles Richter's. So what is magnitude? How it is counted? How it is measured? So it is actually the logarithmic of a base term of the maximum pressed amplitude which is recorded on the seismometer, but it must be wood understand seismometer located 100 kilometer from the epicenter of the earthquake. This is the actual definition of Richter scale magnitude. But uh, it is not always most appropriate scale to describe or to descri for the description of the earthquake size. Because it, is had a, it has got very limitation, I mean, it must be in 100 kilometer, then it must be only a wood understand seismometer. So, during the invention it is uh, it was okay, but uh, nowadays uh, the same scale is not used for measurement of all types of the earthquakes. So, next is the surface wave magnitude. Now, if you basically this type of magnitude is uh, based on relay waves. Relay waves are the surface waves and the period of the relay wave if it is 20 seconds these are recorded and uh, those relay wave surface waves are traced and these are used uh, in magnitude calculation. This is the magnitude calculation formula for surface wave magnitude and it is ms is equal to log a plus 1.66 log delta plus 2 means what this a is the maximum ground displacement in micrometers and delta is the epicentral distance of the seismometer or seismological station actually measured in degrees. It may, so, this distance is in the degrees, 360 corresponding to the circumference of the earth. So, delta is epicentral distance but in degrees. So, the, if you substitute A and delta, we will get uh, the surface magnitude. Now, surface wave magnitude is based on the maximum ground displacement. Please uh, just take note of this instead of the maximum traced amplitude on a particular seismograph. Ground displacement is taken into account and then that formula uh, that formula is used and it is most commonly used to describe the size of shallow earthquakes i mean shallow earthquakes means if the focal depth is less than 70 kilometers and uh, the earthquakes are nearby 1000 kilometers the, the distance and from moderate to large earthquakes uh, the seismic wave magnitude is used to calculate its uh, magnitude next is body wave magnitude so this body wave magnitude is basically it is uh, used to for the deep focus earthquakes means first the body waves are generated in the uh, whenever the earthquake triggers and those body waves are recorded and uh, if the depth of the focus is very large then the body waves will be only first measured and uh, that formula for uh, body wave magnitude is log a minus log t plus 0.01 delta plus 5.9. In this entire expression, this T, capital T is a new thing or new addition as compared to the earlier magnitude scale. This T is actually 
the period of P wave. So body wave, first wave is generated is P wave. So the time period of the body wave that is actually measured and that is substituted here. And it is usually, usually it is one second. A is the P wave amplitude which is stressed in the microbiome. Of course, if, if it is body wave magnitude, definitely the first wave is P wave and its amplitude is stressed, that is A. This body wave magnitude scale is used commonly to describe intraplate earthquakes. So, on the boundary of uh, plates, whatever earthquakes are occurring to calculate the magnitude for those types of earthquakes, this body wave magnitude is used. And uh, as I have explained, the deep focus earthquake surface waves are not the, the uh, coming to the surface and these are very small and uh, these are not even often also. That's why body wave magnitudes are used for deep focus earthquakes. Now next is moment magnitude. Uh, it is actually based on the seismic moment. Seismic moment means uh, uh, the um, actually major scale of measurement for earthquake is the moment magnitude which is direct measure of the factors that produce rupture along the fault. So the, the fault displacement and uh, the force generators force into the displacement whatever moment is generated that moment is taken into account. So moment magnitude is given by MW is equal to log M0 divided by 1.5 bracket minus 10.7 where M0 is the seismic moment in dyne centimeter. And uh, this moment magnitude, WMW, it is used for magnitudes greater than 7.5. Now next measurement, one more measurement is there that is intensity of the earthquake. This, uh, this term is also used in the media, but it is a qualitative measurement of earthquake. It depends upon the degree of destruction done during the earthquake or carried out during the earthquake. It is measure of severity of the ground shaking and its attendant damage also. The intensity is actually up to some extent it is empirical and it depends on as destruction or damage depends on the many factors. Now these are the factors deciding degree of destruction. First is the intensities are dependent on these six points. First is the distance from the epicenter. So suppose a particular uh, location is there and we are uh, interpreting the intensity for that uh, location. The distance of those that location from the epicenter uh, governs the important parameter. Second, for that location, suppose what is the compactness of the underlying ground? That is also important. If it is steep, then definitely the intensity will be different. If it is soft, then the intensity may vary also. What type of construction in that locality uh, is carried out uh, in history or even maybe which is uh, uh, pursuing during the earthquake also or during the earthquake period? That type of construction, if it is a RCC frame structure, majority, then the destruction may be less. If it is only load bearing or some adobe houses, then the intensity may be uh, varying and it depends upon the magnitude of earthquake basically magnitude is a measurement of uh, energy release so that on that also the intensity dependent next is duration of the earthquake that is also important what is the exact uh, duration of the strong ground motion during the earthquake that is also important next is depth of the focus so whether it is shallow focus whether it is a deep focus earthquake so these are the six points which decides the intensity for a particular locality or lo location. Now here the scale is uh, given that is the Mercalli scale and it is modified. That's what is called as modified Mercalli scale. There are 12 divisions of the intensities. And uh, these modify, this modified Mercalli scale is relevant from the civil engineering point of view. It takes into account the factor of acceleration produced in uh, millimeter per second square, so which is required for us. And intensity can be better appreciated from the effects produced on building, ground, people, surrounding, so on. You can see here the intensity scales. Different intensity scales are there. 1 to 12 divisions are there. Their types are also explained. And according to that, what is the acceleration level 
for each uh, intensity and the effects are also there. Up to 5, you can see 5 is the intensity, rather strong is the type, uh, the acceleration is 100 millimeter per second square or 10 centimeter per second square. Many persons have a kind of dishes, broken, plaster, cracked, trees and poles disrupted, disturbed. Okay, so you can uh, refer these uh, uh, perceptions also. Now my question to all of you, energy du released during an earthquake is related to, there are four options, A, magnitude, B, intensity, C, S, V, O, D, none of them. What is the answer? You pause the video, think of that, entire discussion is the, uh, with you and then give the answer. The answer is magnitude. So these are the references for the this session. Thank you.